Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the ternary operator in Java. In Java, the ternary operator is a question mark, followed by one of two possible values. Here's the formula. We check a condition, then use a question mark, like we're asking a question, is this condition true? If it is, we'll return a value. If not, we return something else, a different value. It's a simpler version to an if-else statement. Here's a demonstration. Let's say we have an integer of a score. Score will equal 70. That's technically passing. Using an if statement, I will check if my score is greater than or equal to 60. If it is, then we will print pass. Else, we will print fail. So this does work with a score of 70. I have passed. If it were 55, well then, I fail. There's another way in which we can write this, and that is by using the ternary operator. What we're going to do, let's create a variable, a string variable of pass or fail. And we're basically just following this formula. We have our condition, is our score greater than or equal to 60? Question mark. We're asking a question, is this condition true? If it is, let's return a string of pass, colon, think of it like otherwise, will return fail. And then I will print pass or fail to display it. So 55, that means we fail. But if it were 75, that means we pass. By using the ternary operator, it's an alternative to writing an if-else statement, and it can be simpler in many cases. Here's a few other examples. Let's create a variable of number. Set it equal to some number. Using the ternary operator, we will check if this number is even or odd. I'll create a string of even or odd equals our condition. We can check if a number is even or odd by using the modulus operator. We will take our number, modulus 2. The modulus operator gives you the remainder of any division. Does 3 divide by 2 evenly? If it does, that would equal 0. 3 doesn't divide by 2 evenly. There's a remainder of 1, and that does not equal 0. Is this number divisible by 2? We'll use the ternary operator. If it is, we'll return a string of even. Otherwise, we'll return a string of odd. Is my number even or odd? So 3 is odd. But if it were 4, well then, it's even. Here's a more practical example. Let's say we're working with a time in hours. This will be in military time. Hours equals 13. That would be the same as 1 p.m. I will create a string of time of day. Equals, we'll check if our hours is greater than or equal to 12. If it is, we'll return p.m. If not, we'll return a.m. Hours less than 12. Ternary operator. Is our hours less than 12? If it is, we'll return AM. Otherwise, we'll return PM. And then we will display the time of day. 13 hours, that's the same as 1 PM. Yep, the time is 1 PM. Or if the hours were 9, that would be AM. All right, last example. Let's say we have an income or salary. Income equals $60,000. Let's pretend that you're a software engineer in the United States. In the United States, we have different tax brackets depending on your income. This time we will assign a variable of tax rate equals, we'll check if our income is greater than or equal to 40000 for $40,000. Question mark. Ternary operator. If that's true, 
then our tax rate is going to be 0 0.25. Otherwise, it will be 0 0.15. So with our income, what is the tax rate? 0 0.25. But if I changed it to 30,000, well, then our tax rate would be 0.15 for 15%. So that is the ternary operator. You follow this formula, you check a condition within a set of parentheses, then use the ternary operator, like you're asking a question. If this condition is true, return this. Otherwise, if it's false, return something else. And then if you would like, you can assign it to a variable. And well, everybody, that is the ternary operator in Java.